If you missed last week's video, we made the master recipe for this all-purpose baking mix. And I'll put it up here so you can go back and watch that and get the recipe because you'll need that to make today's recipes. All right, so I've got, these were really small apples and I think I cut up about five apples. I've got a quarter cup of sugar and a tablespoon of cinnamon. And then I've got my all-purpose baking mix and milk. That's it, that's all we need for this recipe. For the apples, I'm just gonna toss the sugar and cinnamon right in here. And then for our biscuit dough, we need three cups of our all-purpose mix. And this is our basic biscuit dough recipe that I shared with you guys last week. But we're gonna be rolling it out thin. That's the difference. We need a cup of milk. Okay, I'm just gonna mix this dough together until it comes together. Okay, and then you just need to knead it a little bit. All right, now that our dough is formed into a bowl, I am just gonna put a little bit of flour down on this baking mat and a little bit on my round. Now we wanna roll this out in a rather rectangular shape. Okay, so I wanna have about six parcels. So I'm just gonna cut this and just hope this works out for me. We really do want these to be kind of more of a square shape. If I can just get it a little bit bigger. And then this is just really rustic and easy. We're just gonna put some of these slices in here. And then we're just gonna take these edges up. And we're just gonna pinch those edges. And it's not perfect because this side was shorter, but there's our first one. Now, I'm just gonna make these more of the square shape they're supposed to be. These are going to go in the oven at 350, around 40 to 45 minutes until they're nicely cooked and browned. My oven's already preheated, so these are going to go in there now. And I'm going to check on my stew. The next recipe I'm going to share with you is dumplings for your soup or stew. I'm making a lot of stews this time of year, and I grew a lot of root vegetables this year, so I'm making a lot of stews. All we need for this recipe is a cup of our all-purpose mix, 
one to two tablespoons of milk, an egg, and I'm going to be adding about a teaspoon of parsley just for color. One of the secrets I learned to making good dumplings is that you don't want to add too much liquid. If you add too much milk, your dumplings are going to fall apart in your soup or stew. And I've had that happen and it's really annoying when it does. So we're going to put that parsley in there and just toss it in. Parsley doesn't really add any sort of flavor. It's more about the color. We're going to add our egg. And then I'm just going to start off with a tablespoon of milk and see how it goes because we don't want too much liquid. We want this to be almost like a bread, a firm bread dough. Okay, I think I'm gonna add that other tablespoon. And I'm just gonna go in there and knead this a couple of times. So we really want our dough to be nice and firm like this because we're going to have dumplings that are going to stay firm. They're going to rise a bit, but they're going to stay firm. And I like a firm dumpling. I don't like a dumpling that is ready to crumble and fall apart. Our dumpling dough is ready, but my stew is nowhere near ready right now because we're still before lunchtime right now. I wanted to get this started early but for now this is going into my fridge probably for a couple of hours here's our dumpling dough and it's been sitting in the fridge for a few hours now and i just like to take about a teaspoon and this dough is stiff enough that you can just roll it in your hands and then just pop it in there so I'm going to make all the dumplings. All right, I just have to put this lid on for about 15 minutes. And then these dumplings are going to be done and I'll show them to you. It really only took a couple of minutes to prepare this dumpling dough and it's added such a beautiful and comforting element to this stew. So I hope you'll give this one a try. It's one of my favorites. Having this all purpose mix is, has just been a lifesaver for me, especially over the holidays when my daughter was here and Instead of running to the store to go pick up bread, I was able to just whip up some biscuits and make some breakfast sandwiches. So thanks for joining me today and I'll see you in next week's video. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.